YMGI mini split air conditioning and heat pump systems feature a highly efficient and quiet outdoor condensing unit and one or more sleek, stylish, ultra quiet indoor air handling units. The air handling units are available in wall, ceiling, or floor mount configurations. The condensing units are available in single and multiple zone capabilities. The key to a long life of great performance with any of our products is proper installation from the beginning to the end. Each YMGI product has been fully tested before being packed. While product quality is important, the installation is even more important since as high as 60% of the unit malfunctions can be traced to mistakes or poor installation practices. Prior to the purchase of the unit, no requirement calculations for heating and cooling should be conducted by the installing technician or contractor for proper unit sizing. Use the manual J or other reputable HVAC sizing programs to accomplish this task. The installation of a mini split system is different from that of the standard North American central cooling and heat pump systems. By following the manufacturer's installation instructions closely and using caution throughout the entire installation process, Unit failure and damage can be prevented due to steps that can easily be missed during the installation of these units. Some of the tools required for installation include number two Phelps screwdriver, flat screwdriver, electric drill, three inch hole saw, drill extension, level, tape measure, two adjustable wrenches, wire cutter, wire stripper. Number four metric allen wrench, cable ties, nitrogen tank with regulator, manifold gauges, multimeter, vacuum pump, vacuum gauge, and a stud finder. The following are needed if refrigerant adjustments are made. Recovery pump and tank, R410A, digital scale. YMGI strongly recommends that more than one technician be on site when installing the unit for an easier installation and for safety reasons. In this video, we will be installing a YMGI 59.2 42,000 BTU three zone condensing unit to illustrate the recommended procedures to ensure a successful unit operation. Check for any shipping damage to the boxes when receiving your unit. If damage is found, mark it on the shipping papers with the shipper present and notify YMGI customer service immediately. Remove the unit from its box. Check that all parts and accessories have been received. Check for any physical damage to the unit. Next, remove the fan guard. Check for free rotation of the fan. We recommend removing the fan guard and turning the blade by hand to prevent possible damage to the blade. After checking the blade, replace the fan guard to its correct position. Open the electrical panel and note the position of the terminal blocks. Incoming power will go to the far right block then A, B, C terminals for indoor units A, B, and C, respectively. The piping connections are also marked A, B, and C for indoor units A, B, and C, respectively. Both the terminal blocks and piping connections are marked to match the zones. The importance of this will be explained in detail later in this video. Note the location of the nameplate. The serial number is located just below the nameplate. Be sure to read and follow all the warnings and cautions listed on the unit for your safety and the safety of others. Check the unit weight, which is listed on the box to help aid in lifting safely. With everything in good order, you can proceed with the installation. Find a location, not in direct sunlight or where there are high headwinds. Allow enough clearance behind and to the sides of the unit for maximum airflow through the coil. Our minimum airspace requirements are 12 inches on the coil sides and 20 inches above the unit and on the line side. Keep any bushes and shrubbery trimmed away from the unit. We are using YMGI mounting brackets and securing them to the foundation wall. To set up the brackets, 
Simply fold the brackets open and insert the screw pin as shown here. Your bracket will now be a 90 degree angle. Measure the distance between the unit feet for the brackets. Mark the distance on the wall. Mark the holes for your bracket, making sure the brackets will be level vertically. In our installation, the upper portion of one bracket leg will not completely contact with the wall. Make sure two bolt holes are made on this bracket leg to secure the bracket. Set the depth gauge on your hammer drill to ensure the right depth into the wall. Drill for the mounting studs and insert a good quality wall anchor. Tighten the nuts to the bolts to secure the bracket to the wall. Verify the bracket is straight by using a level. It is a good idea to recheck the distance and level between your brackets before marking or mounting the second one. After securing the brackets, place the unit on the brackets. Check and make sure that the unit is setting level. Next, fasten the unit to the brackets using 5 16 or 3 8 inch bolts and nuts. Check the level one more time before proceeding. For heat pumps, the unit must be raised from the ground to prevent the condensate from freezing on the coils and causing damage. We also recommend the use of a drain adapter and hose to divert the condensate away from the unit. After the hole has been drilled to the inside unit, we are ready to connect the tubing and the interconnecting wiring. For your refrigerant lines, use insulated ACR copper. Use multi-stranded copper wires of the correct type and gauge for your power connections. Use an uncut length of wire. YMJI does not recommend splicing wires in line. Use cable ties and pipe band to bundle the copper line and wires with the condensate hose being laid at the lowest position to avoid any possible kinks or sags. Extend the drain hose if needed. The method for securing the wrapping tape will be detailed in another video. YMGI strongly recommends marking all piping and wiring to their designated zone to eliminate the possibility of cross wiring or cross piping in the zones. These two conditions can cause damage to your unit and will disqualify it for the factory warranty. Carefully shape the tubing and direct it to the outdoor unit. On this line, we did not wrap the pipe because of the diameter of the suction line. This was done to prevent any kinking. We recommend using the optional line set cover to protect the tubing, prevent air and rain infiltration, and to provide a more attractive finish on the job. The line set cover can easily be cut with a pair of shears for fitting to the correct length. Fill the hole to prevent air leakage or pests from entering the building before placing the caps on the entrance elbows. Slide any flexible covering over the pipe and wire bundles before fastening them to the unit. The covered unions provide a secure and nice looking junction between the sections. If the tubing needs to be extended, Make the extensions after the backing is in place. Tighten all connections and do not enclose it until all leak check operations are performed. If new flares need to be made, 
Be sure female and male flare nut surfaces are clean and centered before tightening with two wrenches for a tight seal. Tighten all connections at the condensing unit. Make sure to connect the corresponding valves to the lines A to A, B to B, and C to C. Be careful to avoid cross piping.